educate us. I mean, we want to learn. We want to know what it's like for you. It's like every day we wake up, it's like war. It's like onion nuggets. All right. But without further, I don't even, man, maybe there should be further ado. Because I don't know if you are honestly ready for S-Dog and T-Bird. What? No, you can't let you know. Come on, dog. Don't be like that. Yeah, like, I put this dude. up here for contention. I wasn't sure. I mean, I knew no. it was like an edge case. Like, all right. So why did you, why ultimately did you do, did you say, hey, this should be a goal then, TJ? I mean, because I saw S-Dog and T-Bird and I was like, them is the realest mother gangsters I've ever seen in my then life. why would we not want to see that? Because they're almost, they're almost too real for this show, to be honest with you. Dude, Ricky Lake, I remember as a kid, was the like, was like, I know it's all just sensational crap, but she was the one that was almost like, I don't know, like, they, they people pretended there was an air of respectability to this one. I don't know why. Oh, you about to see why, Scotty? Because yeah, because look at the shit we're about to cover. Because I mean, only on. Ricky Lake could f get S Dog and T Bird to fucking appear on television. Okay. You about to see the so hardest. You're legit saying these are the hardest gangsters I've ever oh, seen. Oh, dude, in my life. you ain't seen gangsters like this before. The gangster of gangsters. I mean, you think they could, you think saying. that you they, you think they give you a name like S Dog or T Bird, unless you are hard as fuck. I mean, I hope not. Probably not. I they make imagine. cotton. They make cotton nails, not cotton nails. Coffin nails look like fucking marshmallows, bro. <laughs> cotton nails. No, I think the first one was right. Nah, dude. No, no, it wasn't, dude. <laughs> That's some subconscious you're gonna shit. The, you're going to ruin the fuck. Right. No, no, you're going to ruin the There's day you talk shit. cotton nails. You ruin the day you talk some shit. No, I okay. said they make coffin nails look like fucking marshmallows, uh, bro. That's not what you said. That's not what you said. They make coffin nails look like cotton, cotton. nails. How about that? Oh, man. These are, no, I mean, you think I'm fucking around with you, don't you, Scott? You think they're not going to be hard? You think Dude, this kid right here in the green plaid shirt, he says everything I know. You think that I'm going to show you some soft-ass fucking fake gangster bullshit? It's is Ricky, that what you're it's thinking? Ricky Lake. I know that's what you're about to show me. No, bitch. <laughs> it better not be Ricky Lake. All right, dude. If it's it is Ricky up, Lake. Oh, it's right man. there. It's well, Ricky Lake, takes, dude. It, that takes it down a peg, TJ. I know, dude. Oh, yeah? Ricky Lake was not known for having a real gangsters on her show. Oh, she was. Well, this time she got him, Paul. Well, then it's she, got she did. Yeah. All right. Every day, 14 children die by gunfire. Uh huh. <laughs> Every day, 14 children die by gunfire. Is that so? The average age of the children being killed is 11 to 17. The average age of their killers is also 11 to 17. Mm -hmm. Most of these kids have yet to go to their first prom, and yet... Damn, Ricky was low-key kind of cute, though. She always was, a little bit. Yeah, I think she's kind of cute. Always I'm just a little bit. Not flaming hot, but she's always been like, yeah. 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 Carry guns for protection. And that all their TJ, I'm scared. Can you even show this? I'm not sure, bro. I mean, I know Paul and Sky think this is all bullshit. I think you're bullshitting, but no, bro. I'm willing to be wrong. When you see, you're gonna know you're wrong in a second. Okay. Too. Um, enough. These kids say it is the only way to survive. Mm -hmm. Meet S Dog and T Bird. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I am owed an apology, <laughs> dude. Oh man, you I believe that somebody owes me an apology. Dude, I was, if, in 1993, I, like, I was like, what, six? Then I would have, as a six year old, I would have shaken these two down for their lunch money, dude. Are you kidding me? TJ, you know, sometimes <laughs> ice cream trucks coming by. I'm like, come on, guys. T Bird, S Bro, S Dog. Sometimes I think you cannot sink any lower in your depravity. And then you go and do something like this, TJ. I know, right? And totally f***ing redeem yourself. I know. These are the two hardest bitches I've ever seen. I don't know what Scotty's smoking over there, but it must be crack. He just don't know what hard looks I mean, everyone like. knows I, I am addicted to crack. That He's is so amazing. goddamn stuff. He wouldn't know what hard looks like for a second. So that's okay. He's f***ing talking his shit. But this is, this is the... <laughs> this is the gangsters to end some, all gangsters these, right here. These are some original gangsters or some OGs. I'm just saying... Guys? Whatever fucking blood see, crew these two see bitches is running with. And T-Bird crossed the, and I you feel, crossed the street. I feel bad for any Crips that be in that hood. You know what I mean? Because this is, it doesn't get harder than this. Hello, human. I'm Nug. You will subscribe and become a Pessimist Productions patron. Witness live streams of Onion Nuggets every week. New Deep Fat Fied episodes every Saturday. Other shows include Abandoned Hope, Hideology, Your Own, fighting boys and more click the link 
Feed the garden. They both run with a gang in their hometown. Oh, yeah. S-Dog says you need a gun so that the others know who is boss. S-Dog is 13 years old. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, oh my God. S-Dog, dude. <laughs> S-Dog. S-Dog is 13. You've got to be joking me with these kids, bro. <laughs> But dude, as soon as I, yeah, they got a badass. Yeah, these, I was. I these was kids looking, have the have the lemonade market cornered. As soon as I saw S Dog and Tiber, and I was like, okay, hey, da, this, da, da, da. this is getting pulled. This is getting pulled. Dude, I, you thought gangster, apparently. Tiber has been carrying guns since that, she was but... ten. She says you got to bust them before they bust you. Yeah, Tiber is only fourteen years old. Also, meet Michael. Michael says fighting with fists is old fashioned. Either you have a gun or you're going to lose your life. Michael is 17 years old. Mm. And LaShonda. LaShonda says, always have to, you always have to be prepared, so she even takes her gun to parties. Mm -hmm. LaShonda is six, 18. These fake-ass LaShonda and She's whatever. 16, bullshit gangsters. Put back S-Dog and T-Bird. Years old. 18, 16? 16, 16. 16. Now, S-Dog, I'm going to start with you. Why do you feel like you need a gun? <laughs> S-Dog, why? Uh, well, well, Ricky. Dude, what? What? S-Dog, <laughs> starting with well, you. Well, everybody else has them, but if you don't have one, then, I mean, it's either shot or shoot someone, I mean. Hey, she talks like Elon Musk. Uh, uh, what, uh, I mean. Uh, maybe Elon Musk is a white gangster now. You you have to um have a gun to uh shoot um, That's why people it's the because the Look, um, the two on the right might be involved in some shit. These oh, two on the left saying? are fake. What are you saying, Sky? I'm saying these two the are fake. The two on the right. Oh, well, let's let's see what the, what's the difference here. The two what's on the, the, the two on the left. Here? The two the two white people on the left look like they're fucking actors, dude. I cannot mm, believe they'd be involved in any nah, gang. Oh, I see. What gang would they be in? So you see black people and you instantly think violent thug, and you see wow. two white people and you're just like, oh, innocent. They're being they're presented. Angels. They're being presented as people who, who carry weapons. Yes, they guess they're, they're innocent little angels. Being hard. I'm sorry, you guys don't like it. Sorry, you guys don't like it. Mm. You don't have one, then I mean, it's either you believe this guy's in a gang. Shoot someone. It's not a guy, but yeah. One, I mean, they're going to shoot you, but if well, you believe S Dog is in a gang, TJ, you really well, believe that? I think S Dog is the. The yeah. ringleader? I mean, I don't know. I mean, or is it T Bird? Okay, well, who's who's the top in the relationship? She hard as fuck. I mean, that's all I know. Is, I mean, yeah, is T Bird running the shit, or is S Dog running the shit? I mean, clearly by the rag, they're claiming blood. They're bloody. Yeah, these are fucking bloods, Scotty. You know the yeah, fucking these bloods? Are great bloods, bro. These are fucking pyrus right here, Scotty. So you're saying that every one of you, your friends, has a gun? Just about, yeah. yeah. So how do you go about getting thrown down those crips, yo? Throwing Jet the bout, crips down. yeah. Listen to that gang talk, Scotty. You never heard that slang before? Jet the bout, yeah. Yeah, these are people. Well, are... my homeboys <laughs> give them to me. My... Come on, dude. This is so, so fake. My homeboys. This is fake as shit, dude. We are repping the mean streets of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the audience is like, what? Because she, she cannot keep her fucking bullshit story for the show straight. There is no, I mean, like, whoever's job it was to try to fucking get some fake gangsters for this show, they, they really fucking didn't know what the fuck they were doing, did they? I don't think so, no. Do you have to pay money? Do you? Yeah, well, see, they have the money so they can buy them. So they buy them so you can protect yourself. Yeah. Ah, uh, I see the okay. smile. So yeah, of course. She can barely keep it in. <laughs> Yeah, of course. When we're doing our drug they deal stuff, they found two fucking generic ass white chicks and just put fucking bandanas and shit on them, and we're like, oh, "Yeah, hey, you're a gangster now." Yeah, presented oh. to a bunch of people going, "Oh, go out I'm there and stay homeboy." <sighs> About you, why do you feel like you need to carry a gun? Because it's kill or be killed. That's how I see it. It's like if I don't have a gun. Then somebody with a gun who's mad at me will shoot me before. Bro, this then I can tell you what right now, and let me yeah. let me tell you something right now, Scotty. Uh -huh. You know why this bitch is wearing lokes to why? black him out, so people don't see that thousand yard stare in her eyes, right? Yeah, dude. It's plausible deniability, dude. Because if you could see those eyes, you would you see that there is the truth. stone cold If you cold saw eyes those eyes, right you would there. see how in fucking genuine or ungenuine this fucking. A poorly rehearsed fucking routine is. 
Um, actually, it's got it. You gotta have a gun. Completely so, unauthentic. Like, if like, you, so you can like shoot people before they shoot you, got it. You know what I'm talking about? The only way to beat like a bad boy with a gun is to be a good boy with a like, gun. If you don't have a gun, they'll like shoot you. So if you have a gun, you shoot them first before they shoot you. And that's why I have a gun, Scotty, because I'm a gangster and me and my homeboys and such. Like all. Also, have the guns. sunglasses look weird because they're like almost like this. They're yeah. being worn like this. Like what the fuck are you wearing? Oh, I get it. So you don't want you want anyone to be able to see the eyes at all, and then just give the whole act away. So, what would it take for someone to be mad enough at you? I mean, you're laughing, but in their name. Yeah, they're in laughing because they're laughing because they know that they're looking at two of the most whack ass mm. fake fucking gangsters they've mm. ever seen in their fucking life, Ricky. That is not why they're laughing, TJ. No. They are laughing. It's nervous they laughing because they're scared. Yeah, it's nervous laughter. It's like gallows laughter because they think these two girls are about to kill everybody in that fucking studio, and I don't blame them. They can't even believe that Ricky would expose them to this Dude, level. Dog and T Bird are not to be fucked with in the streets, bro. They got fucking street cred credibility out in the streets, bro. Mm. Hey, bro this, you know. is, this is the way it is. What would it? Where you're asking? Where are they from? Where are you from? We're from Denver. From Denver. <laughs> We from Denver. We from bitch. the main streets of Denver, yo. We Denver. rep in Denver, bro. You wouldn't last ten seconds in Denver. Wait a minute, excuse me. Wait a minute, excuse me. Denver can look be hard fucking, too. Look at the skepticism with which that black dude is looking at Ricky it's right like now. Dude. 90s Denver, Wild. like no one even fucking wanted to move to Denver. No one fucking knew shit about Denver, dude. Let's people live there. Straight out of Denver, bitch. <laughs> Fuck straight out of Compton, dude. <laughs> straight out of the mean streets of Denver, motherfucker. Have all of you been to Denver? I, I've been to Denver. Yeah, it kind of sucks, Ricky. Dude, this is why... But it isn't, like, <laughs> deadly or nothing. Sense. No. That's the, hard, that's the hardest yes. city in America. Denver. No. That's the hardest core city they is. I barely, Denver. Like, I got to be honest with you guys. I went to Denver one time. I barely got out alive. Barely, dude. I'm talking. I was like, barely. I was fucking, dude, I was, I had to fucking basically jump over the fucking gates and just run, dude. Because people, the uh, fucking mobs of people in Denver just try to kill you, Paul. The minute they find out you're not from Denver, dude, they're coming for you. Bro, I didn't know. I didn't know it was like what that. Down you, there. you say if someone's mad at you, they can I mean, you might have gone when you were like a little kid or something, Paul, and they changed the shit. But now, Denver, dude, like, I mentioned you went there a couple years ago, dude. You got to fight for your life. Yeah. Don't go to Denver. Yeah, Howdy, I mean, fellas. TJ Taco Bell's bringing Double Decker Taco back. Dope. She was a phony on that, dude. I, I asked him to go on the Double Decker that. Taco uh, last time they wanted to bring it back. He didn't even vote. Mad at you enough. What, what would True. you do that would make them mad enough to want to kill you? We're in a gang. We're in a gang. That's it. What's we in a gang? gang. So what's the gang called? It, we in a gang. The opposite gang could be means enough for them to shoot you. This is fake. If you're in the gang and the other gang sees you, then there's like, wait, you're not in our gang, so I got to shoot you now. We all up in a gang. Yeah. Stay in a gang, TJ. Now, the reason why they would kill you is because you'd have a beef over something like, hey, we're selling drugs here and you're selling drugs here. But no, let's Scotty, be... they would kill you because they're in a gang. Oh, because they're in a gang? They're like, So the, the other gangs roll around like, we're in a gang. They've and then like, we're in a gang. gang, bang, gang. Like, Are you in our gang? No. Boom. They've been a gang bang, Scotty. they in a gang, Scotty. they in a gang. Okay. I guess yeah. they're in a gang. Little drive by. You know nothing. <laughs> a little drive little by. Little drive by. You little know how we do here. You know what I mean, Scotty. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about, Scotty. Little drive by. Little I one mean, yeah, who does, who has a block. Some who like a good drive -by? Boat out in front of the Seven Eleven. Just drop them motherfuckers because I felt like it because my trigger finger was itchy. Then we roll downtown, find some. Fucker to kidnap, hold that bitch for a little bit of ransom. You know what I mean? Smoke up some rock, go to the school, blow the whole damn school up, and then I go to sleep, wake up next morning to do the same shit. Hell yeah. Damn. <laughs> how did you how did you learn that dog wow. in the house, them? bitch? I learned from my homeboys. I learned from my homeboys. I home learned boys. from my homeboys.
She's a method actor for sure. Yeah. Because like I learned from my homeboys. My homeboys. My homeboys. I learned from them. I'm like, hey, we're in Denver and like, let's go shoot some guns. And they're like, homeboys. And they're like, no, I gotta hold your gun like this. I learned from my homeboys. So have either. And they're like, have, they speak with like no confidence whatsoever. And they're just like, I have to have learned from my homeboys. I'm gonna have yeah, they really inhabit the gangster mentality. And Shy, what? reserved, very quiet, not yep. boisterous at all, even though they represent themselves as being part of a gang. I like to um, shoot people sometimes. Who taught you how to shoot gangster. my my homeboys? I learned from my homeboys <laughs> to be a gangster and I shoot people. And yeah, put a lot of buzzwords in when you're trying to sell the dupes. My homeboys. You ever shot at anyone? The audience is not having it. You know, I mean, would you have it? Like, I can't believe Ricky Lake tried to fucking pull this shit off. Oh, they do this shit all the time on shows like this. Dude. I know, but usually it fucking was a little better than this shit. They don't give a fuck. Dude, Ricky, like, I mean, shoot, you gotta have balls of steel to come out there and just be like, you know what, whatever bullshit, because she has to believe it. I mean, clearly she knows it's bullshit, but she has to fucking go all in. That's why she's like, have you been to Denver? Have you been to Denver? She's like, Denver ain't that bad. Well, Ricky definitely don't believe it. Of course she doesn't. She's not fucking retarded. Yeah. You yeah, have. <laughs> yes. I say, have you ever killed anyone? Who no. <laughs> would answer that in the affirmative? Oh, yeah, I've done tons. No, no, no. no. What do you mean you don't know? Because, I mean, we would shoot into crowds and stuff like that. We just shoot into crowds oh, and so stuff, you, you know? You just admitted you've shot into crowds. Okay, yeah, get the f*** out of here. This is so fucking fake. Yeah, I just spray, I just spray and pray. You know, whatever. Yeah, from the mean streets of Aspen, Colorado, yeah. baby. No, I thought it was Vail. We shot into crowds and stuff, but we don't know if we hit nobody or nothing. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a machine gun people in the crowd, but case. who knows? But still, they're still human beings. So yeah. they do the same to us. They do the same to our homeboys, our homegirls. Yeah, dude. I wonder how many bodies these bitches have on them between them. You know what I mean? Oh, my how God. How many bodies have they dropped? You know what Hitler I mean? Would, Hitler would blush, Paul. Hitler himself would blush. Stone cold murderers is what I'm looking at right here, dude. These two now work as aides for Kamala's campaign. Maybe from the streets. Okay, what is everybody reacting to? Yes, stand up. I would like to say, if you're, why are you in a gang? If you know being in a gang is going to cause you to lose your life, why not get out of the gang and just try to foster some? Quit pretending like you believe this shit. Please tell me you don't actually believe that these fucking bitches are in some kind of fucking gang. They're in a gang. <laughs> Go to your room. Dude, this woman is old. She doesn't know they can lie on TV yet. Um, she hasn't figured that out. She's like, well, they don't look like gang members, but I don't know how they'd be doing it over in Denver, so maybe. <laughs> or yeah, she's an audience plant, could be. You don't know our lives. You don't know where we What is it like for you? Tell us, well, what is your life up. like? You don't know what it's like is that, in Denver. Is that a Denver accent? That's how we talk at Dumva. We talk all mealy mouth in Denver. Well, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know by us just... Tell us. <laughs> Educate us. I mean, we want to learn. We want to know what it's like for you. It's like every day we wake up. It's like war. It's like... War out there. <laughs> it's like war. We wake up and it's like war. It's like war, you know? Yeah, these look like two people, like, they're freshly laundered shirts and nice pants, and, you know, they look, you know, uh, they look healthy, but every day for them, they wake up, they're just racked with stress and guilt and war, and, like, any moment could be my last. That's the vibe I get off these two. It's a war out there, Scotty. They're in a little war zone. And you can just tell. You can tell by the way they look and stuff that yeah. they've been through hell. You know? Oh, right, for sure, yeah. They have that look. You ought to laugh, but you don't know. You can laugh, but you don't know. You don't know, because no one buys Even your Even you're not taking this fucking shit seriously, bitch. You know, as you get older, you realize the stupid things that you've done, and you think back and you say, wow, that was so stupid. But it's gonna, it's like it's going to be a shame that you're not even going to get older. You're not going to be able to get older to see that. You have to wake up. That's not right. Yeah. It's not, that's not right. You what are these kids supposed to do? They say That's true. I'm sure that S Dog and T Bird have both been killed and 
fucking gang power Probably. struggles over the streets by now. <laughs> I mean, almost assuredly. Either that or they're so high up in the gang structure that, like, you'll never see them again. You know what I mean? They work through yeah. proxies and yeah. shadows. That's and... smart. That's smart. I'm going to see if there's any fucking information about where S-Dog and T-Bird are now. S-Dog and T-Bird, where are they now? I want to know. Um, there's like no information. Wait, no. Come on, there's got to be something. Damn. Damn. I guess not. Yeah, there's some TikTok. Who knows if they're that's real? It, it, I, it based on the description, it doesn't appear to be so. Damn. It's a mystery, man. It's a mystery. What did happened? They, they probably died guys. shortly after this I mean, filming. What are they gonna find yeah, they got smoked. That? You gotta be different. You gotta be your own person. You're sitting up here with your mad faces. Wow. A harrowing portrait of two <sighs> deeply authentic gangsters. You know, uh, seeing the, uh, the totality of that, TJ, I had to say I was convinced at the end. That is some hard and shit right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. You, I, I knew you guys would fucking go through like a, an arc with them, you know? At I first, mean, at first I was excited, then I was skeptical. At first you'd look at them and you'd be like, I don't buy them as gangsters. But then when you see but how seeing the, the crowd, streets have shaped them. Well, yeah, but seeing the when crowd you see there. the fucking way that the war on the streets has shaped their entire personas and the manner in which they speak, you fucking really get a sense of their well, deep authenticity. And the crowd you know? of the people, well, they were physically there at the time, and obviously they were, you know, people in the crowd believed it, so it's like, that's a pretty good reason you should probably believe it, TJ, because they were actually there, you know. They were they were in the room with those two, and it's like these are real gangsters. They are both Karens now. I don't think so, dude. What? No, no they're both dead. They're hot. They're like, long like said, dead. Paul said they're high up or they're dead. That's that. That's your choices. S Dog and T Bird have been, They've shuffled off. So I guess we're about. Well, bro. 